This Week in Politics on KSFY. Good evening, everyone. I'm Brian Allen. Thank you so much for being with us tonight. Coming up here this evening. We're, we're with you, and the American people are going to stand with people across Nebraska, across Iowa, across all of the eight states that have been impacted by this severe weather and this flooding. Vice President Mike Pence makes a Midwest stop to survey historic flood damage in both Nebraska and Iowa. We will hear more from him in just a moment. But we begin here tonight with implementation efforts of the new farm bill that was passed at the end of last year. We are nearly three full months into the new year and several important parts of that program have been delayed. We were able to speak with Minnesota United States Senator Tina Smith about the delay and about how this farm bill will help area producers once it is set in place. The 2018 Farm Bill has been hampered by delays. Lawmakers in Washington had hoped to have the measure approved by the end of last September. But when it was said and done, it was finally approved nearly three months later, on December 20th, when the President signed the measure into law. But then just days after being signed, a month-long federal government shutdown. Minnesota United States Senator Tina Smith. Well, I am uh, excited to be talking about implementation of this farm bill. It's a bipartisan bill that passed in December, and honestly, the implementation got a little held up because of the government shutdown, which was, um, in my mind, a, a big waste. Uh, but it's good to know that we're moving forward. And uh, last week, I had a chance to talk with Secretary Perdue at the Senate Ag Committee hearing about the work of the department to move forward with um, implementation. But moving forward will take some time as well. The United States Department of Agriculture has been allotted just more than $15 million in federal funds to put the mechanisms in place to roll out this new farm bill and its associated programs. Compare that to a $100 million budget to roll out the last farm bill, approved in February of 2014. The, the Farm Bill includes and continues uh, some uh, basic safety net programs for farmers that make a big difference. It improves some programs that have been there for a while, like the Dairy Margin Protection Program. And then it includes new uh, support for, uh, for rural health and for broadband and for helping uh, new, and, uh, uh, new and beginning farmers get um, off the ground and it also includes some support for export market development which is something that we need right now so all told it is a good solid package and we just need to need to get it implemented that dairy margin protection program is a kind of insurance policy for dairy producers that guarantees them federal payments to cover their operating costs should the price of milk drop substantially but sign up for that program has been delayed the latest from the USDA is that the sign up period for the program won't start until the middle of June but although there have been delays, Smith says she is thankful that there is now forward progress on this new farm bill. Well, I'm just glad for uh, Minnesota farmers and South Dakota farmers and Iowa farmers and everybody that we're moving forward on this. That's been such a rough year or two with these uh, trade disputes and uncertainty with prices, low prices, and now we've got the weather. So moving forward and getting the certainty of the farm bill going is, I think, really helpful to people. But as Smith touched on, there are continuing trade problems with China that are closing off a lucrative international marketplace for Midwest farmers and ranchers. In spite of repeated statements from the White House that negotiations with China are productive, there has yet to be a final agreement that ends the trade dispute with China, which has been ongoing now for eight months. Minnesota United States Senator Tina Smith with us tonight. When we come back on This Week in Politics, how long will it take and just how much will it cost? Vice President Mike Pence surveys flood damage in Nebraska and Iowa. That's next on This Week in Politics here on KSFY.